What's up everyone? New word for the day. Frustration. That's the word for today. Passage here again. Just a one pager, nothing big. I go right into it, probably end with it. So right off the bat, frustration by definition. The feeling of being upset or annoyed, especially because of an of inability to change or achieve something. An event or circumstance that causes one to have a feeling of frustration. The prevention of the progress, success, or fulfillment of something. I received some frustrating news last night. My workout partner, my coach, is unable to work out with me this week. It's unfortunate, but his doctor's orders. I didn't sleep well, but I did receive a workout plan from, from my coach for this week uh, to stay focused and keep going. This week I will be doing MIIT Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Yoga Tuesday, Thursday. For you of the for those of you that don't know what MIIT is or or MIT is what I'm going to call it MIIT workout. It's a high intensity workout. Uh, I did a 10 minute one today, but they're they're typically 10 to 20 minutes, and they're like a minute full go, and then there's like a 30 second um, break in between and you go another minute again 30 second break in between the big intervals and then um, each minute is something different normally there's four or five steps and then you do it all again a cycle again uh, so the 10 minute one I did two cycles so if you do the 20 minute one it's like four cycles so um, so with that being said uh, we will all have frustrations at times, and we will all have minor setbacks along the way. It is 100% up to you to keep fighting your inner self and keep pushing through. Fight that negative conscious and power through to the positive motion, or to a positive motion. When I woke up today, I instantly fell, fell back asleep, hitting the, sno hitting the snooze multiple times again. This is for the same reason I don't have a partner this week. Do I blame him for not being able to work out with me? No. It's just easy to take a pause when I don't have anybody to work out with. It's easy to just be lazy. Um, I finally woke up around 5.30 a.m. instead of my normal 4 a.m. and still did my workout. Yes, I was tired. Yes, I slept in. Yes, I had it in my mind. I needed to get a workout done no matter what. Yes, I was upset with myself that I didn't wake up at my normal 4 a.m. And for that, I will be shifting back to my 4 a.m. tomorrow morning. Stay on your game. Stay on your plan. Do not falter from it. Again, I will say it. Yes, you will have minor setbacks. And yes, you will have lots of frustration along the way. Frustration you can control and honestly obstacles that you you're going to have, sorry, you're going to have frustrations you can control and honestly obstacles that you have no control over. You must fight to survive and seriously fight to stay alive. Got a quote here by Jim Ron or Jim Rohn. Learn how to turn frustration into fascination. You will learn more being fascinated by life than you will be than you will by being frustrated frustrated by it. Uh, another quote here by Bo Bennett: Frust or Frustration, although quite painful at times, it is very positive and essential and essential part of your success. Another quote here by Bruce the Man Lee: Bruce Lee. Without frustration, you will not discover that you might be able to do something on your own. We grow through conflict. And a personal quote of mine that I put into this today, it might be out there, but I, you know, I put my own quote in, and it is to to be all in, in all honesty, to overcome frustration, you have to ask yourself one thing, one thing. How bad do I want it? So once again, in order to overcome any frustration, any obstacle, you have to ask yourself one thing when you get up in the morning. One thing throughout the day. How bad do I want it? How bad do you want it out there? How bad do I want it? That's going to be it, guys. I hope you have a good one, and I'll see you later. Peace.